Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Tuesday, February 15, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Boston Celtics vs Philadelphia 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers have been doing well so far as they are 34-22 this season. They are being led by center Joel Embiid so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 103-93 home win over the Cleveland Cavaliers. The biggest positive was Philly's ability to shoot 45.5% from beyond the arc throughout the game. This is going to be a very close game throughout. Both teams have been playing some of their best basketball this season. The Boston Celtics' win streak will stay alive as they push past the 76ers. I don't see Philadelphia being able to hang with the Celtics team without the players they traded for James Harden and Harden himself. They gave up a lot and will need to get healthy before the playoffs start. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown will be able to carry their team in this game. They are the leading scorers for their team and also have the capabilities to defend on the other end. The Celtics also have the second most efficient defense in the NBA. They will be able to focus on stopping Joel Embiid and get this win. If they can stop him, the 76ers don't have enough shooting talent to win this game. Our first betting pick is the Boston Celtics. This offense is going to be looking very different than it did two weeks ago. The 76ers just traded Ben Simmons for James Harden. The starting five for the 76ers is completely different. According to dunksandtrees.com, Philadelphia has the 15th most efficient offense in the NBA. They are scoring an average of 107.6 ppg and shooting 45.46% from the field. This is the 11th best shooting percentage in the league, and I see it getting even better with the addition of Harden. The 76ers are also a very good three-point shooting team. They have multiple players who can step behind the arc and knock down shots. This has been beneficial for them, as they can come back from any lead. Watch for Philadelphia to run their offense through Harden and Embiid. Joe Lembiad still controls this team, he has averaged 29.5 ppg and 11.2 rpg. He has been playing like an MVP and will need to have a huge game if they want to hang with the scorching hot Celtics. James Harden will still be out for this game and is looking to come back sometime in February. Our second betting pick is under the total. Dallas Mavericks vs Miami Heat. Miami is allowing an average of 104.4 points per game which is 5th in the NBA. Opponents are shooting only 44.3% overall which is 5th best in the NBA and 34.3% from behind the 3-point line which is 13th. The Heat are 18th in rebounding at 44.6 boards per contest but are holding opponents to only 41.4 rebounds per game which is 1st in the NBA. Bam Adebayo is the leading rebounder for Miami with an average of 10.1 rebounds per game and is the SWAT leader with a team best 0.6 blocked shots per contest. Jimmy Butler is the leader in steals with an average of 1.8 per contest. Dallas has put plenty of pressure on Doncic in the last couple of games as there is a large drop-off in production after him offensively. With Porzingis Delt and Hardaway Jr. on the shelf, there is work to be done for Dallas to develop capable secondary scoring options. Miami has a ton of scoring depth to work with in their rotation and Eric Spolstra has done a stellar job keeping his team atop the Eastern Conference standings given the injury issues his team has gone through this year. Playing at home with a nearly fully capable rotation works in favor of the Heat. Dallas is second in the NBA in points allowed at 103.1 points per game. Opponents are shooting 45.4% against Dallas which is 14th in the NBA and 33.5% from behind the three-point line which is third best in the NBA. The Mavericks are 22nd in rebounding with an average of 43.8 boards per game and are allowing an average of 44.1 boards per game which is 12th in the NBA. The king of the boards for Dallas is Luka Doncic with an average of 9.0 rebounds per game. Dorian Finney-Smith is the leader in steals with an average of 1.2 per game. With Kristaps Porzingis recently traded, the leader in blocked shots is Maxi Kleber with an average of 0.9 swaps per game. Our first betting pick is Miami Heat minus 2.5. The Heat enters this 117th in the league in scoring offense with 109.1 points per game this season. 
Miami is 18th in the league in rebounding with 44.6 boards a contest, while the team stands 6th in assists by dishing out 25.8 dimes a night. The Heat stands 4th in the league in scoring defense as they allow 104.5 points per game. Jimmy Butler leads the team with 21.7 points, 6.2 rebounds and 6 assists per contest. Tyler Harrow kicks in 20 points a night, while Bam Adebayo chips in 18.7 points plus 10.1 rebounds per contest. Duncan Robinson, 11.7 points, Kyle Lowry, 13 points, 8.1 assists, Markeith Morris, Dwayne Dedman, PJ Tucker, Max Druss, 11 points, Caleb Martin and Gabe Vincent are solid role players for the Heat. Miami is 13th in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 46.2% from the floor this season. The Heat stand 6th in threes per game by draining 13.5 triples per contest, and the team is 1st in three-point shooting by hitting 37.6% from beyond the arc. Victor Oladipo, knee, remains out for the Heat with no timetable for return. Morris, neck, is out indefinitely and has been out since November 8 while Martin, Achilles, missed Saturday's game and is day-to-day. This season, the Mavericks are 24th in the league in scoring offense as they put up an average of 106.3 points per game. Dallas is 22nd in the league in rebounding as they collect 43.8 boards a night, while they are 17th in assists by dishing out 23.7 dimes per contest. The Mavericks are 2nd in the league in scoring defense as they are giving up an average of 103.1 points a game. Luka Doncic leads the team with 27.2 points, 9 rebounds and 9.1 assists per game on the season. Tim Hardaway Jr., 14.2 points, Spencer Dinwiddie, 12.6 points, 4.7 rebounds, 5.8 assists, and Jalen Brunson, 16.1 points, 3.8 rebounds, 5.4 assists, each are averaging in double figures. Dwight Powell, Marquise Chris, Dorian Finney-Smith, 10 points, 4.8 rebounds, Reggie Bullock, Davis Burtons, Boban Marjanovic, Maxi Kleber, Trey Burke, Frank Ntilikina, Josh Green and Willie Cauley-Stein are rotation depth pieces for Kidd. Dallas is 19th in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 45.4% from the field as a team on the year. The Mavericks are 13th in the league in threes per game as they hit 12.5 triples per contest, while they are 23rd in three-point shooting by hitting 33.9% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Chris, knee, missed Saturday's game and will need to be monitored here. Hardaway Jr., foot, has been out since January 25 and had surgery. He's expected to be out until sometime in March. Our second betting pick is over the total. Cleveland Cavaliers vs Atlanta Hawks. Cleveland's formula for success this season has centered around their stellar defense. They rank third in the NBA in adjusted defensive efficiency per dunks and threes.com. They allow the fewest PPG in the entire league, and their mark of 102.1 is a full point less than their nearest competitor. They don't give up good looks, giving up the third lowest shooting percentage against. They have been outstanding at keeping their opponents off the board, and it has more than offset anything their offense lacks. The Atlanta Hawks have struggled with consistency throughout the season, whereas the Cavs have been one of the most consistent teams in the East. The Hawks failed to cover the spread in four of their last five games even with a healthy Trey Young. Now without John Collins, the Hawks will their hands full with the Cavs, who are the third-best Austrian shillings team in the NBA with a 34-23 record. Atlanta beat Cleveland by three points the last time these teams met, but Darius Garland did not play in that game. With Garland healthy for this game, joined by Karis Levert and a balanced group of players, that included Kevin Love who had 35 points and 11 rebounds off the bench the last time Cleveland played Atlanta. This is the only game the Cavs have to worry about before the All-Star break, Atlanta has been nearly the polar opposite of Cleveland this season. They sport an incredibly high-powered offense that ranks second in the NBA in adjusted offensive efficiency. They hang up 111.7 ppg, and unlike the Cavs who make their opponents scratch and claw for every point their victories have been generated by outgunning their foes. Trey Young has anchored the offense by putting together a phenomenal season, hanging up a massive 27.7 ppg. Young is also deadly from the free throw line which makes for a great weapon towards the end of close games. Our first betting pick is Cleveland Cavaliers minus 1. The Hawks lost their second straight game, and for the fourth time in the last five games on Sunday, losing on the road to Boston 105-95 as a 7.5 point dog. Trey Young dropped 30 points and dished out 10 assists in the loss, on 9 of 26 shooting from the floor. Clint Capella grabbed a game-high 17 rebounds and finished with 8 points on 3 of 4 shooting. The Hawks got a big game off the bench for Bogdan Bogdanovic who finished with 26 points and 6 rebounds, knocking down 9 of 20 shots. 
On Saturday, Cleveland's four-game winning streak was snapped in a 103-93 loss as a 3.5-point dog to the Philadelphia 76ers. The Cavs' all-star guard Darius Garland led the team with 27 points, but also committed six turnovers and had just one assist in the loss. Garland leads the Cavs for the season with 20.1 points, 8.0 assists, and 1.2 steals per game. Jared Allen leads the team with 11.1 rebounds per game and is second averaging 16.2 ppg. Cleveland has excelled on the defensive end of the floor. They are first in the NBA holding opponents to 102.1 ppg and third allowing 44% shooting from the field. They are also eighth holding the opposition to 33.8% from three-point range. On offense, the Cavs are 23rd scoring 106.5 ppg, 10th shooting 46.6%, and 17th making 35.2% of their threes. Our second betting pick is under 221. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.